This video will show you how to make visible the hidden trackers on web pages. The tool Tracker Tracker uses Ghostery to detect in a selection of websites or pages a set of 900 plus predefined fingerprints of trackers, including those that fall under the category of analytics, ad programs, widgets, or social plugins and privacy. Tracker Tracker may be used to gain an overall picture of detectable trackers or for a number of analytical purposes, such as detecting and visualizing social plugin ecologies, pervasive cloud technologies, advertisement ecologies, and web companies, such as Facebook and Google outside of their domain, for instance. To see whether a set of web pages contains widgets, analytics, or another type of tracker, you first have to insert a list of URLs with a maximum of 100. Secondly, you choose only to retrieve the trackers for the inserted URLs or also to include deeper pages. This is for instance useful when detecting social plugins on news websites as they are commonly present on deeper pages and not on the front page. Make sure to specify the maximum number of subpages that should be included because it slows the tool down. In this case, I'll set it to 2. Then hit track trackers and wait until the tool processes your request. Once the tool is finished, you can see below see the results retrieved. And here you can see the uh, URL, uh, the tool processed, uh, the host, uh, the type of tracker, an ad, a tracker, an ad, analytics, widget, um, uh, the date, and here the specific uh, pattern or fingerprint of the specific tracker. For instance, uh, here we have uh, the Google Ad Services, Google Syndication, uh, Google AdSense, double click. If we scroll down, we can see that indeed not only the main page uh, of The Guardian was uh, processed, but also um, sub pages that are linked from the main page. And here, the New York Times has uh, content help. In addition to the output below, there is also an output option above here, uh, where you can download the CSV for, um, uh, to open in your spreadsheet software, or and a GEXF file, a Gephi file, which you can open in Gephi to visualize the network of trackers and websites. This is how you can make visible hidden trackers on web pages with the Tracker Tracker tool.